to a voicemail system. However, the mailbox of the person at 929-221-4731 is full. Transferring to an attendant. One moment, please. A valid attendant member has not been specified. Your session cannot be continued at this time. Please try again later. Goodbye. Services, Ms. Mendez speaking. How can I help you? Hi, Ms. Mendez. This is Cheryl Uzamir speaking. I just wanted to make sure that the number that you gave me is correct. You gave me the number 929-221-4731? Yes, I did. All right. Ms. Sheely? Yes. All right. Um, when I call that number, it says, one, the number is full. Can't leave a message. And when they transfer me to the attendant, the attendant also was not able to take numbers, so I wasn't able to leave a message. You took you took the number for her supervisor, Ms. Thomas Piercy? Well, you didn't give it to me, so I didn't take it. Her number is 929-221-4732. Mm-hmm. 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 4732. And what is her name? Thomas hyphen Could you put, please spell that, Piercy? Piercy is P-E-A. Mm-hmm. R-C-E-Y. Thank you very much. I'll give them a call. Thank you. Have a good day. to a voicemail system. However, the mailbox of the person at 929-221-4732 is full. Transferring to an attendant. One moment, please. A valid attendant member has not been specified. Your session cannot be continued at this time. Please try again later. Goodbye. This is Cheryl Uzamir speaking. I just called the telephone number for Thomas Piercy, Miss Thomas Piercy. Just wanted to check the number you gave. Was it 929? Okay, ma'am. How I, You did not speak to me. That's one thing. Okay, now when I said you, you I'm sorry, up. ma'am. I'm sorry. When I say you, please understand that I mean you in the corporate term on the agency Okay, term. but I take it as you myself. I have never right. spoken to you. So how can I help you? Now, um... 
when I spoke to you, and since I'm speaking and I know what I mean, I'm telling I'm telling you that okay, I mean. Okay, ma'am, so who are you trying to look for? Do you want to keep inter interrupting me, ma'am? I'm asking you, who are you trying to look for? Now, I just called 929-221-4732 for Miss Thomas Piercy. That I, is her number. I called that number, and it said that that number is full, and when I was directed to the attendant, um, they said that that number was not working. Besides Thomas Piercy, who are you trying to reach? I was trying to meet, reach Thomas Piercy. Okay, again. Besides Thomas Piercy, is there anybody else you're trying to reach? Is, do you have a case in this office? Yes. Okay, so who is your caseworker? The, the first name that I was given was Miss Sheely. Okay, did you try to reach her? Yes. And were you successful? No. Did you leave her a message? Um, the, f the voicemail system is set up not to be able to leave. Hold on, system. please. Okay, unfortunately they're both in um, in training, so you would have to speak to Ms. Davis, which she might be in training also, and all I can do is give you Ms. Davis's number and you can leave her a message. All right, may I please have Ms. Davis's number? All of her them number is 929-221-4736. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. 4736. Oh, I'm sorry, 4736. Is she the supervisor? She is a supervisor. Is she their supervisor? Yes. All right. Now, um, the last number that I, the last number that I call, the Thomas Piercy number at 929-221-4732 and Ms. Sheely's number, both of them said that the numbers, the numbers are full and when they transfer to the attendant, the attendant. Okay, but ma'am, I'm giving you another number. So if those numbers are full, that's why I'm giving you another number so that you can leave your name and number so they can call you back. The problem is that I, I believe that the same thing is going to happen to this number. Ma'am, you can't assume. You have to call. Ma'am, this tape, this uh, this telephone call is being videotaped. Your that's fine. On it. And I'm letting you know that you cannot assume. You have to call. All right. I called the last two, and they said that the phone was full. And that the and that the uh, could you hold on, please? Thank you.
person at extension 9292214736 is not available to take your call. Please put a message after the tone. Hi, Miss uh, Davis. I called. Yeah, can I please have your number? All right, hold on, please. I have them on the phone. Hold on. Um, okay, so if you have them on the phone, then you don't need me. No, 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 no. I, I'm no. Um, I called Miss Davis. Um, I got a phone message, and I was not able to speak to anyone. Okay, directly. so there's nothing I can do. Did you leave them a message so they can call you back? No, ma'am, because at the time that I started doing that, you came back to the phone. Okay, so, so then I'm going to hang up so you can call back, and you can leave them a message. All right, is there, I need my, the lock on my door changed, ma'am. Ma'am, I don't know anything about that. You have to speak to your caseworker. I'm not a caseworker. All right, your general counsel, her name is Martha Calhoun. I will be calling her. This conversation is Okay, really have a good day, ma'am. Same to you. Good afternoon. My name is Cheryl Uzamirez. Getting, I'm letting you know that I have a lawsuit um, in the process of filing. I named your commissioner, and the name of my lawsuit is uh, Cheryl B. Uzamirez versus various Ashkenazi leaders and Ashkenazi Judaism as a hate group. And I uploaded that lawsuit to my website. So in Chapter 6, Chapter 6, my website is www.thecrimesofsenatoruzamere, my last name is spelled U, Z as in zebra, A, M as in Mary, E, R, E, dot net, and the, the, lawsuit, the lawsuit is at Chapter 6. The lawsuit is going to concentrate on key time violations by the state of New York and the city of New York based upon enforcement of the Babylonian Talmud um, and Ashkenazi Judaism. It is very damning. As for right now, you cannot interrupt me. What did you say the, the uh, site was? www.thecrimesofsenatoruzamere U as in unicorn, Z as in zebra. Okay, that's not. Okay, go ahead. Now, if you'd like, uzamire.net, all one word. If you'd like, if you're at your computer, you can look it up right now. If you're a fast typist, it should take you about hey, 30 seconds to hey, type. And your name is? May I finish, please? Because if you don't let me finish, I'm going to, I am, am I? Yes, I'm videotaping this call. And I'm going to use it as evidence against your Ashkenazi leader, Mr. Banks. And I'm going to send it to the United States Department of Justice's Civil Rights, not Civil Rights, Disability Rights Division. Tell them that you are discriminating on, against me based upon what your religion says about black people and mental illness. That's on the website. Are you sure you don't want to speak with me, ma'am? Because I can always go and speak to the department. Department of Justice. I've spoken to already several individuals within Adult Protective Services to have my key, to have my door locked, uh, to have my door lock changed because the people next door held on to my key for an, um, an ordinarily long period of time, and I'm afraid to leave my apartment because I believe they made copies of the key. And every single individual that I've called within your in, within your within your agency has um, 
when I've attempted to leave the message, the message I receive is their phone is busy and the attendant can't take messages and I have that all on videotape. I need the locks on my door changed immediately. I already have named Stephen Banks on the lawsuit. You go to the website, it's chapter 6, he is named, so is Martha Calhoun. I need my locks changed now and I have bipolar disorder and I'm also going to report, hello? I'm here. And I'm also going to report that even though you all get block grants that you all don't provide, he, you all don't provide guardian ad litem services. According to um, guardian, what I read about guardian ad litem, I don't have to be mentally unstable or mentally, I don't have to be psychotic to receive those type of services. Okay. I can still get them. I need my locks changed now. Okay, and who am I speaking with? My first name is Cheryl. C H C H E R Y L. My last name is Ugamere. It's U as in it's U as in uniform. C A M E R E. Yes, and my telephone number is seven one eight. Eight two seven two six five two, and I need my locks changed now. Oh, wow. Who did you speak to, Mr. B? Who's in here? All right. I spoke to, let me tell you, I, f I called the police. They said there's no, no, no. a... Wait a minute. In our office. All right. Did you speak with oh, me? in your office. In your office, I called the telephone number... Nine. I call the telephone number. I believe seven one eight seven two two four something one eight, and I spoke to the receptionist. The receptionist gave me the telephone number nine two nine two two one four seven three one, and the name of the individual individual is Miss Sheely. When I called that number, um, the message I got was that it was full, and when they tried to transfer me to the attendant, the attendant didn't take messages. Then they gave me the telephone number for Miss Thomas Piercy, and the number they gave me was 929-221-4732. When I called that number, I got the same message. The phone line is full, and when they tried transfer me to the attendant, the attendant wouldn't take calls. Then they gave me the telephone number for Miss Davis, and that number is 929-221. 4736 and when I called that number all I got was a message I am unwilling for Mr. Banks to transfer me back to his subordinate because they've already been told not to help me Mr. Banks does not handle this situation himself how do you know that they were told not to help you Okay, whether they were or were not that's what I'm going to report to the United States Department of Justice. And when they see that I received, that I called three numbers and none were available, and I am an at-risk, mentally ill individual, and you are still not providing services for which you all are receiving federal block grants, what do you think is going to happen? Because you need I to... I ask you a question or two, please. Go ahead, ma'am. Okay. Are you a family with children or single? I am... I called Adult Protective Services. Okay. So, okay. So, APS, am I correct? Do you want me to get someone to assist you with that? Okay. They have already been told not to help me because if there's somebody available... I am not going to transfer you to any of the numbers that you have given me. Thank you. Okay. I, I need my lock changed now. My keys were stolen on Saturday, and I am stranded in my apartment. It is now Thursday, 4-11, and I've asked for help to have the key changed, and nobody has helped me. The lawsuit that I'm filing is a key Tom lawsuit, and alleges that you all are get funding, get, you all are getting funding, and you are mismanaging it. I need my lock changed now. Well, let's see what they can do for you now. Okay. May I please speak to, might I please, 
Are you the secretary or are you one of the assistants? I'm going to get someone to assist you now. Thank you. Letting you know that I'm videotaping this conversation and when I'm done, I'm uploading it to YouTube. I've already done that with the office with the, uh, with the office in Brooklyn. Okay. 